This is the game of life. Two parents up front and some cute little pegs that will eventually choose college or career. The game never mentions the children with disabilities that may need care forever. In this car, it is Christina and her daughter Kaylee, because pretty early on, dad got out, leaving one parent, one peg to pay the rent and drive. Kaylee's disability qualified her for Medicaid regardless of income. She got surgery for a birth defect, therapy for developmental delays, and special accommodations at school. But as she grew into a teen with multiple diagnoses, Georgia's Medicaid plan had a tough time keeping up. And if you don't have the evaluation that says exactly what it needs to say to access that care, you're not going to get it. <laughs> and, um, and that just depends on who you see and what their mood is that day. When Kaylee's behaviors got out of control, she received medication instead of tools to teach her new ways to cope. The roadblock? Georgia traditionally only covers the service for children with autism. Kaylee doesn't have autism, or at least not on paper. Her mom has tried twice to get her tested. She is still on the waiting list. Yet another roadblock. The barriers in the system mean barriers to success. Suicide attempts. She was asphyxiating, and so um, I just picked her up and I, you know, dumped her in the shower, turned on the cold water, called the ambulance. Kaylee, unable to deal with her emotions, kept running away, ending up in jail, homeless, or even trafficked by strangers for sex. Her mom asked for help with supervision, but she couldn't get that either. Kaylee's intellectual disability wasn't severe enough, and those medical problems never really went away. I don't feel like my, ta my daughter's ever been properly, truly evaluated. It's more putting out her fires that um, she's produced more than looking at her from a ground level. Christina wants a caseworker who can change that, but all she's found are dead ends. Christina never thought she'd retire a millionaire, but she desperately wants to get her daughter back on the road in this game called life. Thank you.